grave undead. You have proven yourself to me. Now, be one with the dawn. This is the attack that inflicts curse, by the way. Uh, you get rid of these by just rolling through them. That's Dark Lurker's attack. It's really cool. I think standing in her hitbox hurts you. I didn't notice that hole behind me. Oh, okay. Uh, that attack went way up above where she was. And here's the best part about fighting Nassandra. Every time you die, you have to re-equip the King's Ring. Go through the really slow door animation. and then walk down a really long hallway. Isn't it great? Though if she drops me down low enough, I will switch back to the Forlorn Greatsword and <laughs> my other Pyromancy glove. I could cast Warmth and just troll her. Oh yeah, she has two different boss cutscenes. Grave undead. You have proven yourself to me. Now, be one. 
with the dog. Two different cutscenes because you could defeat Throne Watcher and Defender as soon as you get the King's Ring. You didn't use that all last fight. Oh, hey. Quick detour. We're winning this fight. But there's always time. This is back in the good old days before Patty's main complained about the, uh... The game's trying to be Dark Souls. Oh, you're gonna... The sun is a deadly laser me? I'll show you. Sun is a deadly laser. And that's it. Many monarchs have come and gone. One drowned in poison, another was hung into flame. Still another slumbers in the realm of ice. Not one of them stood here. As you do now. You, conqueror of adversity. That's 56 damage. Hmm, that's not great. Thank you for moving, Aldia. It's 115 damage. Now we're talking. Those are bombs. It is bombing time. Aldia has Flame Body, which is really annoying to deal with. Yeah, mistimed that. He gets a lot of armor when his fire is up. the attack that doesn't really give me an opening. It's coming back around again. He's 
Casting Spirit Bomb. Better attack. That's better attack. I don't know if you'd believe it, but my pyromancies don't do a lot to Aldia. You die like everything else in this game, to poison arrows. That was two deaths and four bosses. And I disagree with the second death. And being a true Japanese game. There's no way to do... Uh, skip the cutscene. I need to sync up this ad with the Twitch VOD because I forgot to hit record. So, uh... I'm going to clap into the microphone, and that'll be my sync point.
Oh well. That'll be a fun fix. So I've got another hour left on this stream. I kind of expected this to take me longer. So my options are I either take an early lunch and have more time for the rando or I start working on Frozen Elium Lois, the DLC I'm going to do first. Early lunch. I'll let these credits play out. Um, I will pull the Twitch VOD. And I will stage everything for editing. gonna do, and this is some if you've made it this far and are watching the credits with me YouTube um, for Deep Rock Galactic Survivor I did Batch Render where I took all of the footage, broke it up into episodes, and then told it to Batch so it would do one episode, next episode, next episode next episode, as if it is one long render when it was in fact four separate renders I'm going to stage all of my footage today into one file. Um, and I will do that for Dark Souls Part 19, which went up... It's supposed to go up tomorrow. But since I'm re-rendering it, I'm going to pull that recording and it'll go up Friday. You've already seen that because you're watching this on YouTube. This is going up on Monday, and then Kingdom Hearts will go up on Tuesday. And then Wednesday will be off because we'll be streaming Kingdom Hearts on Tuesday, and there's a 48-hour window between stream and upload. This new system I use for recording is a little, not recording, for uh, editing is a little bit more involved. I take the footage, which I'm going to have to grab these two footages, put them together into one file, sync them cut the excess. It's going to be really annoying that the good audio quality is going to be all in the, uh, the credits, but whatever. What have you. Yeah, I won't have to go through and search my waveform looking for faulty audio. That was annoying. But I make the audio. I then delete everything but the audio track I want to keep. I s export that as a wave file. I then send it to my laptop to run it through post-production and I send it back to my rendering computer, my tower, my gaming computer, all of those things and I put it back in the file to be used. I will be taking uh, it's possibly a terrible idea, I will be taking 
the combined f footage of game and audio from Twitch and putting that in through post-production as well. It'll just be the separation between game audio and my voice will be as it is on stream, not as I do it in post where I pull game audio down by 8.9 decibels. four different audio tracks. So I'll have Dark Souls audio recorded separately as one audio track. I'll have the combined audio track of me and Dark Souls. I'll have my audio track, which doesn't get changed between Dark Souls or Kingdom Hearts. And then I'll have the Kingdom Hearts audio track, all with their different sliders. Um, of course, the combined audio and my audio will be set at zero decibels. I think Kingdom Hearts 2 is actually set at negative 15. I think I pull Kingdom Hearts 2 way down. Bearer of the curse until hope. Over the hill and past the f where a man peered straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it. Whatever came of it, three levels. Okay, so. 241 deaths to despawn every enemy, beat every boss, and kill a couple of NPCs. I will kill all of the NPCs when I finish the DLCs. But, for now, they get to live. And if I do quit game, save and quit, what is the file time on this? Logging into game servers? Boo. Uh, 121 hours and 25 minutes. a lot. Okay. So YouTube, that is the end of the base game. We've beaten every boss. We've cleared every map location. We found that one mimic that we missed when we did New Game Plus on Majula. So we have actually killed everything. Otherwise, you know, fake run. Missed one mimic. Start over again. This is going to get shelved for a little bit, which is probably a terrible idea, because I'll get rusty, and I'm going into the DLCs, which are really difficult, and I'm going into Frozen Elium Lois, which is the worst one. But we're going to we're gonna shelf this for a little bit, do some other things that aren't Dark Souls. So, for everyone who's made it this far, thank you for watching. And I will see you on Kingdom Hearts 2 Randomizer Async Practice for the Spring League.